time moves forward and nothing changes. Like it or not, times change. When Max Payne last appeared in a game in 2003, he blasted his way through countless enemies with reckless abandon, aided by his signature ability to slow time and deal graceful death. Today, reflecting modern sensibilities and perhaps his own age, Max takes things slower and makes judicious use of a new cover mechanic. Yet the addition of this contemporary element doesn't mean that Max Payne 3 plays like every other third-person shooter, far from it. With its gripping narrative, brutal violence, and fantastic implementation of bullet time, this is an excellent game through and through. Maybe I lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. Wherever you go, there you are. It's a truth Max Payne knows better than anyone. Fleeing his New York life to take a job working security for a wealthy family in Sao Paulo, Max finds that his demons come along for the ride. He reveals a complexity here not seen in earlier games, as he hits rock bottom and must either stay there or face his demons head on. James McCaffrey does an excellent job reprising his role as Max, bringing a wider range of emotions to a character who has previously often been one note. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. The writing is terrific. Max's world-weary wit is as bone-dry as ever, and much of what he says has the sound of hard-earned wisdom. Max Payne 3 has far more sunlight and color than earlier Max Payne games, but the menaces Max faces here are at least as dark as those he's faced before. And it's not all tropical locations and bad Hawaiian shirts for Max here. A few great flashbacks evoke the atmosphere of earlier Max Payne games. One thing that hasn't changed is Max's ability to blow bad guys away by the hundreds. Shooting in Max Payne 3 feels terrific. This is partially due to the game's unflinching violence. Bullets visibly tear through bodies, leaving holes that spurt blood as your enemies die. Each encounter with a group of enemies ends with a bullet cam, showing your final fatal bullet soaring through the air and striking its target in grisly detail. It's a cathartic and satisfying way to end each firefight. Bullet Time, the defining mechanic of the Max Payne series, lends gunplay a cinematic intensity that remains exhilarating from the start of the campaign until its finish some 12 hours or so later. You can actually see bullets fly through the air when bullet time is enabled, whizzing past your head and causing believable destruction to the world around you. But despite the significant edge bullet time gives you over your foes, they are not pushovers. They make smart use of flanking tactics, so you need to stay aware of what's happening on all sides. And yes, you need to make effective use of cover. There are still situations aplenty where an old-fashioned head-on approach can get the job done, but by and large, you need to approach combat in Max Payne 3 more defensively than in past games. If anything, Max's vulnerability makes combat feel a lot more dangerous and exciting, though it's not without its downside. Max's signature shoot dodge has suffered. You can still leap through the air in slow motion, but because your enemies also make good use of cover, there's a good chance some of them won't be vulnerable to your airborne assault. And as you get up from the ground after a shoot dodge, you're something of a sitting duck. The result is that you may end up using the shoot dodge not because it's a particularly effective tactic, but because, risks be damned, it just looks so cool. The campaign deftly avoids falling into a rut by frequently putting you in situations that fall outside the standard action. It also includes just enough periods where you get to catch your breath and simply walk from one place to the next, taking in your vibrant surroundings before the next firefight begins. It all adds up to an excellently paced, immensely exciting campaign. Where the campaign is tight and focused, the multiplayer is fast and freewheeling. Though you start with just a handful of loadouts to choose from, you eventually unlock an impressive array of weapons, attachments, gear, and abilities called bursts. Bullet Time is one of the available bursts, and it works well, affecting enemies in your line of sight rather than slowing down enemies all over the battlefield. But it's not the only standout burst. Paranoia is great for causing mayhem on the field, making members of the enemy team see each other as enemies. And Big Dog, which gives you and your teammates a health boost, can help turn the tables when things are looking grim. There are standard deathmatch and team deathmatch games, 
but Painkiller and Gang Wars are much more interesting. In Painkiller, you become Max Payne or his partner Passos by killing them, and then earn points for staying alive and killing the attacking players as long as possible. Gang Wars is a five-round team game in which objectives vary from round to round. The frequently changing objectives and the uncertainty of what's next make Gang Wars an exciting mode that keeps you on your toes. The action is wilder in multiplayer than in the campaign, as players scramble to kill each other, using their various bursts to aid them or to wreak havoc on their opponents. It may not be a measured test of competitive skill, but it is chaotic fun. However, the single-player campaign here is the star of the show. There's incentive to return to the campaign and conquer it on higher difficulty levels, or to tackle the leaderboards in arcade mode and in New York Minute mode, in which you race through levels, earning time for each kill. Times change, but some things don't. You can still count on the Max Payne name to deliver some of the most stylish, distinctive, violent, and pulse-pounding shooting around. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are! <laughs> Just stay off the AO, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs>